Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Alexa Quinn here, but just call me Quinn. So I'm here rocking my Katniss Everdeen iconic braid that I haven't tried to rock since I was about 11 years old and I was thinking, you know what goes with an old hairstyle? Old makeup. I was going through all my old makeup thinking about, should I get rid of this? Should I, what should I do with this stuff? And I thought, make it into a video because I'm a YouTuber now. I'm a YouTuber. And that's what we do. <laughs> Should I sit? Should I stand? There's so many decisions. I don't even know what to do. So I thought, you know what would be interesting? Me trying to do my normal makeup routine, but using all of the makeup that I either haven't used or haven't used in a very long time. So it's pretty much a bunch of stuff that is either too dark for my skin, won't compliment me in any sort of way, and I have to say it was pretty much a disaster. I do not recommend doing this because you will look in the mirror and you will think, what am I doing with my life? <laughs> but since I like to make things harder for myself, I thought what would be really interesting to do along with doing my makeup with all of my old makeup? And I thought, Using all of my old brushes. Yes, I use all of the brushes that I typically don't use and I don't really know how to use which added a whole other aspect of doing my makeup. Mm, it was not good. So I hope you enjoy me attempting to do my normal makeup routine with all of my old makeup and all the brushes that I don't use. Now that we're done with the intro, let's get on to the video. Ah, yes, so cute. So I only have one kind of foundation and it's Revlon um, BB Cream, light to medium. It has a shimmer in it and I can already tell it's chunky and it's too dark. This is amazing, I love life. Typically to apply my foundation, I use a damp beauty blender, but since I'm not using the stuff that I typically use, I don't have a beauty blender. So I'm going to have to use a brush. I do have a foundation brush that I never use, and let's see how this works. <gasps> Ew, it's oily. Oh my god, I don't know what to do. Okay, we're back. It's like slightly pinky. Do you see this? Who wants that? I just realized I don't have any bronzer. I look like I just self tanned and I had no idea what I was doing. I just looked at myself in my camera and that is horrifying. That's the best this is going to get. So next I typically conceal but I don't think I have anything for that. Ugh. Yeah, oh my god, I hit the jackpot. I just found so much of my old makeup. Okay, I found this. I have no idea what it is. It's a benefit. What up? I don't know what this is, but I'm gonna pretend it's concealer and we're just gonna Go with it. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's glittery. Oh. oh The closest thing I have to anything that I could bronze with is in this eyeshadow palette. There's like this brown Oh yes, oh yes, no. That did nothing whatsoever. Then typically next, I um, I go in with highlighter, and this is what I have. It's liquid highlighter. I never use liquid highlighter. I always use powdered highlighter, and I bought this when I was like, you know what? 
I do makeup now. I am gonna buy a highlighter. But then I had no idea what it's doing and I thought my skin was darker than it actually it is. And I bought the darkest highlighter, <laughs> which is dumb. With this look, I obviously don't need highlighter because my whole face is shining. But let's just go in. Oh no. This obviously did nothing, so I think I'm gonna have to use something that's not highlighter. You know, your life is a mistake when you have to pat your makeup dry. I have this really crusty old eyeshadow palette, and I'm gonna take some of this light one here to see if I can get some actual highlight in here. Let's see what this does. <laughs> nothing that's a pro tip you know what who don't get highlight just get like a foundation that has glitter in it let's go with the glitter theme and just all out glitter because most of this is glitter because I didn't know what I was doing as a child next I typically put powder on and I have bare minerals powder that I've never ever used also with this I typically use a beauty blender to bake on my powder but I don't have that so I'm gonna just use this powder brush maybe she's born with it now that I'm done making a mess um, I typically leave this on to bake while I do my eyebrows I found something this is a eyeliner and it has a slight purpley color but we're desperate so i have that rainy rodriguez song stuck in my head this is a mistake this is a big mistake next i wipe off all of my bake and i go into my eyes what i typically try to do is i take a brownish color I have no eyeshadow brushes I have this we're just gonna have to make it work it's a make it work moment I'm gonna take this purpley color mauve and just like go in next I take I typically take a bigger brush but since I don't have that I'm taking the same brush and I'm going in with a lighter color this one more just like all but bigger <laughs> then I take a darker color but in this case all I have is a green typically I take like a dark brown but oh ooh, look what she found and I go into my crease I literally look like I caked on my foundation and then I went into like the desert for 20 hours. No, I went into a sauna. I look like I put on foundation then went into a sauna. <gasps> look what your girl found. It's glitter. Yes, we can use this for a good highlight. It's pink. It's fabulous. Then typically I take some of my highlighter and I put it in my crease. Not my, my inner corner of my eye. Next, I move on to mascara. And I only have one type of mascara. Scandalize. This is the first mascara I ever used. This video is 25 minutes long. And finally, move on to the lips. So typically, as a kid, I used a lot of lip glosses. Let's use a lip gloss. Let's use this sh Maybelline Shiny Licious Banana Pudding. <gasps> oh my god. It smells like banana. And not good. And that is the final look. Typically now I put on a setting spray, but I'm not using that today. Because there's nothing to set. This is all coming off the second I'm done recording. <laughs> Not gonna lie. The finished look. 
I hope you like this. If you want to get that sweaty, you know, like, not the um, dewy look, but the overall I'm drenched in sweat and I have to take 20 showers just to get clean look, then just follow this. <laughs> oh my god, it looks so ugly. <laughs> for watching if you like this video give me a thumbs up like and subscribe leave me a comment down below if there's any other video you would like me to do or if there's a challenge that you've seen you're like you know what she should do it it's great <laughs> thank you so much and have an amazing day